Hello and welcome to the fourth part of the HTML form tutorial series. In this series we're going to look at the HTML form elements and then create a form which we are doing now and then submit the form at the end. So this tutorial I'm going to cover some more elements. Last tutorial we covered the select uh, option here so we have the options and we also looked at the option group so do check out that video if you haven't done so already today I'm gonna to look at the text area so we've done text boxes before these are the text boxes at the top but now we're going to look at text areas so the a text area is basically like a way that someone can actually submit a lot of text it's not defining that what that text should be um, obviously it has an ID and a name but it's it's where perhaps uh, a customer can leave comments, right? So it's it's an open-ended amount of characters up to a certain point, of course, um, that a user can add uh, bits and pieces, some information, some additional information about the submission, about the, the data that they're supplying. Okay, so let's go back to the code. And what we need to do is go straight to the bottom here. So this is all the code from the previous tutorials. Um, we're going to put in a HR again. And we're also going to create a label like we've done before. And we're going to copy that. And we're just going to have uh, notes. So we're going to have notes in here as the, as the, the four. And we're just going to put please add any notes. Save that. So let's now actually create the text area element. So we do that by typing in text area. Now, this needs this cannot be self-closing, okay? Uh, if we were to self-close, I'll show you what happens. If we self-close it, it's actually gonna break it. Even though my IDE um, isn't coming up with an error here, if we were to save that, refresh this, um, then we have, uh, please add any notes, that's the label, but notice the text area itself has the rest of the HTML, which is obviously a very, very bad thing. And that's because we've self-closed it, um, which we shouldn't do. So we need to do text area. Let's save that. Now, I'm not sure if that was an issue with Safari itself, but just remember when you're dealing with text areas, don't self-close them. So let's save that, refresh this, and there we go. So notice here we have one and two rows. OK, and the columns, the, the, the number or the width, if you will, uh, is already predefined. Now we can reduce the amount of columns and rows and we can increase the amount of columns and rows. Also, I mean, obviously, we can obviously press enter and create our own. Uh, but when it's in when it's displayed, we can actually display the amount of columns, the amount of rows by default. So let's do that now. So let's do text area rows. And let's equal that to five. So let's save that. Refresh here. Now notice that the height has already been has increased. So we have one, and if I press down or we'll enter two, three, four, and five. So we have five rows before we have to then go and press enter before the scroll bar um, comes into play. And we can also do that with columns. So at the moment the columns are done by default and if we did calls and we did um, let's do I don't know let's do uh, uh, th uh, three save that refresh we're gonna have a very narrow um, a very narrow text area here because we've only got three columns if I increase that to be a hundred and save that that will become much wider like this and also with the text area much like the text box we can also supply a placeholder so placeholder is equal to please add notes save that refresh here and we have please add notes so one could argue that we could remove the label if we wished and again if we were to add notes then notice that the placeholder suddenly disappears so why is a text area not self-closing well uh, we can actually add stuff within the text area elements here. So, for example, if I did p a p tag, right, and did test, save that, refreshed here, then we would have p tag test. 
So this is how a lot of text editors, you, you know, the WYSIWYG, WYSIWYG editors uh, use text areas. So if you wanted to create your own code within a form, for example, then that's what you would do. So things like TinyMCE, stuff like FCK editor, all of those things, they use text areas as a way for you to actually add content. So uh, for instance, if you are writing a WordPress blog and you're actually entering text, you'll be entering text within a text area. Um, so you can actually start writing code within this. And lastly, what we need to do here is because that's in red, we will obviously need to have an ID of notes. Um, whoops, let's put that into um, quotes like that, save that. Now, the last thing I want to demonstrate in this tutorial is another element, and that element is a way of grouping portions of the, f of the form fields together in what's called a field set. And if we can see here, we've got a text area, we've got countries, we've got eye colors, and we've got subscription here. We've got subscribe to another newsletter, subscribe to the newsletter. We've also got last name and first name and so forth. We can actually group these things together. So I'm going to group the subscriptions together and we're going to do that within a field set. So what we're going to do is create a field set that groups the subscription options together. So we're going to do field set and by default, it doesn't need, it doesn't require any attributes. So that's fine. And we're just going to contain uh, both the checkboxes and their labels. So I'm just going to tab that out to make it a little bit more readable. So we have a field set like so. Let's save that and refresh this page. And we can see that we've grouped it. We've actually put it within this sort of box type thing here. We can go another step further and actually put some sort of label or as it's called a legend against this field set. So let's go back to the code and put in inside here, do a legend. And we're going to do subscription options, refresh the page. And notice that we have this legend at the top, this subscription options, almost like a label, but it's within the field set as well. So what I can do now is I can actually remove this HR from here and remove this HR from here. Save that, refresh, and there we go. And we can go one step further. If we did a field set within these inputs here, so if we did a field set like that, and we had a legend which just had um, something like uh, user data or profile, even profile. Um, let's put that and replace this, um, put that here. So field set, field set. And let's just move that like so refresh. Now we have a profile. Okay, so notice that we're grouping these things together. So with please choose your eye color, that can actually be a legend on this field set. So let's scroll down here um, where we've got, so we've done that. So now eye color here. So we're going to remove the H2 tags and we're going to do field set um, because this is actually going to be a legend whoops, and close that legend off like that to do 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 to here. And we're going to close that field set off like so. And let's just tab these in to just make it again a little bit more readable that it's in this field set. Um, now save that, go back here, refresh and we can see that we now have that within a field set. Again, we can also deal with the countries. So here we have another field set. And in fact, we can just put that we can replace the label here with the field set and change that HR, close that off to be field set. And within, whoops, here we can do a legend like so, and the legend is going to be, please choose 
a country or um, I don't know uh, yeah just do country country selection save that refresh and we have country selection now uh, next thing we can do is with the please add any notes so we can do change remove that label if we needed to now usually a field set would have more than just one field in it okay so I'm, I'm kind of just screwing around here just to give you an idea of of how you can structure whoops how you can structure the uh, the form so um, field set and then legend other notes let's capitalize that and capitalize the s as well make it a little bit consistent a refresh and now we have other notes so please add any notes and country selection so all of these now are within their field sets and notice that we've done that and so the please sub submit has actually moved below this rather than by the side of it which looks a bit better in my opinion so that is a very quick demonstration of using text areas and also field sets to group fields together and how that can influence the layout and design of a form. So if you found this uh, video helpful, if you've enjoyed it, then do give it a thumbs up. Do share it around to others that you may think might find it useful as well. Do subscribe if you haven't done so already. I do a tutorial like this every week as well as a web chat every Friday. Thanks again for watching. Happy coding, everyone, and I shall see you again in the next tutorial. Cheers.